Oh, we're live. Oh, we're live. Hi, guys. We're Welcome to Winter One. Two, one. I you were again. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. One, two, three. Again, again. Welcome to Queen Two Hut. We make it one of Queen Two Hut. Welcome to Queen Two Hut. Okay. Magandang buhay. Ganyan. Sa atin, Queen Two Hut. Last ko na yun. Last ko na yun. Bet ko yan. Okay, okay guys. So, you have just witnessed the creation of our signature uh, yeah, okay. I know. Hi. <laughs> and we just want to clear things up. This is actually already our third episode. We already recorded two episodes before the lockdown happened. So, naputol yung momentum. But we decided to keep it going. So, um, after this, at 6 o'clock, we're going to drop all the episodes. So, if ever you want to binge our first three eps of Queen Tuhan, you can go ahead and do that. And actually, our first episode was introducing... Us. So I'm Carla Lazardo. I was Motiana Filipinas Intercontinental 2010. Yes, and I am Bianca Zidotti. I was Binibini Filipinas International 2019. I no, well, 2014. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, Miss Universe 2015, and uh, I also joined Binibini Pilipinas three times. So I was first runner up and Miss Universe Philippines. Dun. So Binibini lang ang experience ko. Pero, yeah. Yay! Okay. Hey! So, hey, so we're, this is it. Yeah. Right. And the reason why we're friends is because we all joined Binibini Pilipinas 2014. Tapos. Yon, hindi na kami naghiwalay after. And we've been wanting to do this for so long, like in different formats, website, what should we do? Because we wanted to get it out there. Kung ano naman nararamdaman ng mga pageant girls. So just providing a different perspective. Like, kasi naririnig natin from the fans. You know, some people have like theories about what's going on during the pageants. So we're here to share our perspective as three girls who went through pageantry. Yes. Yeah. I think it'll be um, an interesting perspective also because I noticed that although um you know uh maraming mga pageant fans and vlogs and blogs and mga podcasts, there are a lot but I haven't really seen any na yung mga girls mismo na sumali yung Ano, yung nagsasalita or nagkukwento. Usually, tayo yung ini-interview. But this time, we'll just talk freely about any topic that's relevant now. And um, ta kami yung mag interview in the future ng mga girls. Yes. That so is we're going to get to know them. Yeah, so shout out to the candidates, the current candidates now. If you're watching, message us. We really want to talk to you we want to get your perspective on what's happening in your lives right now and we want to share it to that so exciting <laughs> oh we have a message from alexa she said not only then yes oh my God. <laughs> five <laughs> years <laughs> alexa was there <laughs> in the beginning <laughs> she was like you know ilang taon na niyang naririnig na oh me me and carla we're planning to do something wow wala na nangyari talaga <laughs> Matagal na rin pala. Oo, oh, actually, matagal na natin pinaplano to. Marami na kaming idea, guys. We wanted to do a makeup vlog first. And then we wanted yeah. to... There were, We had a lot of ideas. But out of all the ideas, ito yung nag, nagkatotoo. Yeah. <laughs> so, buti naman may nagkatotoo, di ba? Misha drawing. Misha drawing. But we're also gonna have like a live Q&A. So, you guys can hop in the comment section. And if you you know, know a lot of people who love pageants, then please share this episode also um, to get the word out there. But anyway, it's been how many days since we've been on lockdown? How have you guys been? Oh, wow. It's been Mar crazy, definitely. <laughs> um, I just want to share to everyone that my dog got a little crazy during the lockdown. And now I have three sets of puppies. Whoa! I have, really? have um, three month old. I have one month old, and I have like five day old puppies. So five days. <laughs> it's crazy. You're a busy mom. 
casa. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> they're, they're keeping Maybe me mom. sane. They're keeping me, you know, with something to do. Um, di biro yung ano the the mental strain that the lockdown yeah. has put on people. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's you know they say that one of the things that you should do is to keep a routine. You know, even though you're just at home, that that helps you um stay focused have more energy and not sink into like you know uh, a, a, a more yeah. down mood, yeah you know yeah so my dogs have been helping me do that you know keep a routine do something you know have something to do every day and yeah so no, that's i'm good. excited this is the first time that i've been on my first time I, I did like a uh an online um for um, sorry for Red Whistle. Red Whistle had an online fundraiser as well, so I took part in that. But there's only a second time that I've said, you know, hello to the outside world. <laughs> oh, we missed you. So we missed you. Because even yeah. even even in group chat, medyo busy talaga si Marwan. Because <laughs> nga, but she explained some it's because of her puppy. So it, you're a new mom. Mm-hmm. We understand. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Ikaw, P, what have you been busy with? Um, so I'm getting used to this quarantine. At first, it was giving me a lot of anxiety. Hindi kasi ako sanay ng walang, parang you're, that I have to stay put for a long time uh, out of my will. <laughs> Alam mo yun? Like, I'm not used to that. I'm, um, so... Siyempre, no una, parang, di ba lahat naman tayo nag-aalala, we're wondering, hanggang kailan ba to? Paano na yung family ko? Paano ko? Paano pag ako nag-asay? Paano yung family ko? Paano yung pagkain? Paano sa labas? Paano yung trabaho? Paano? Paano? Like, yeah. so many questions. But then, at this, now, na magsi-three months na tayo, I can say that medyo, I mean, uh, medyo nasasanay na ako. Nakaya naman yeah. palang meeting sa online. We can do, you know, we can do this pala. Uh, we can do our podcast online na hindi tayo nagkikita-kita. So, nakikita ko naman na very adaptable tayo actually na na, na ano tayo, nag adjust tayo sa panahon. Um, but yeah, I wish this would be over soon so we can go back and um, go back to work and go back to saying hi to each other in person. Right? Yeah. Our lives, man. Hanging out. Shout out to all the brides. Uh, oh, those yeah. who were supposed to have their weddings this year. Yeah. Like me and my fiance, we were supposed to have our wedding this October. Everything's on hold. You don't even know, you know what's going to happen. And I'm sure um, our suppliers, uh, the events industry, they're taking such a huge hit right now. Yeah. Um, I have a cousin who's a wedding planner and she's she said, oh, okay, well, um, all my jobs are canceled this year. Coming out. Grab it. Yeah. So it's crazy. I really hope we sign a vaccine soon. A lot of people really hang on to that so that they can move on and earn. But grab it. Yeah. We, we have been able to adapt. Um, people have been looking into other forms of livelihood. Um, online work has gone up. And yun yeah, kaya pala natin to. And maybe mm. if we try to look into the silver lining of things, maybe in this new normal, maybe we find something na mas maganda pa pala kaysa sa old. You know? yeah. 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 We've been pushed to do things that we wouldn't have done before, um, given the situation. And mm. like work from home has been a huge um normal now for a lot of companies yeah. and mm-hmm. is that going to affect the the real estate industry when we go back to the old normal because i'm realizing companies ah, gotta follow your work from home so True. definitely our, our lives will never go back to what it was yeah. before yeah. you know everyone mm-hmm. uh, but everybody has a... been... go ahead go ahead p no like i was gonna say everybody has their own ways of um Kind of keeping sane during quarantine. Yeah. Some people like to, you know, they. Some people like to work out. Some people binge on Netflix. Some people will go back to an old hobby they used to have, like cooking or gardening. Um, 
So, parang, I mean, nobody wanted this, right? Nobody wanted this. But then it forces us to tap into our old skills, old talents, or maybe things that we used to enjoy when we were kids. Like, it just forces us to kind of be in the now and, like, stop, you know, stop thinking too much about the future. Parang, ano, parang, ang mas inaalala mo yung ngayon and how am I gonna, how am I gonna cope? What about you, Carla? Like, what's been keeping you busy? Actually, it's a combination of both. So I've really been um, trying to structure my days. So when I wake up, I have to work out, and then I'll do my gaming live stream. It's been helping. I've been anxious because, well, if you guys didn't know, I got stuck in another country. Tapos biglang nag lockdown. So there was a lot of anxiety stemming from that. I was stuck in Australia for five weeks. Na dapat five days lang, and I was away from my parents. Who are both seniors, so um, my anxiety was just manifesting in a way. Na in the awa katulog, lagi ako nagigising at four o'clock, and then it was sleep quality that was affected. So when I got home, I did my two week quarantine, and I just feel really blessed. Na nandito ako sa bahay, so now I really have like this whole structured day that I do every single day. Nagawa online classes rin ako. Um, that's been helping. Kasi, I want to keep um, my my mind sharp. I mean, I don't have work. Wala akong trabaho, like, pretty much since February. Um, like you mentioned, the events industry and, of course, sports was greatly affected. Hindi natin alam kung kailan babalik. That's another source also. But yeah. it's also been a learning experience because despite these challenges, parang it's also time for us to really check ourselves and realize now we're blessed to have the chance to stay home, you know, to be with our families, to be with our loved ones. So, you know, it's trying to be, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, there are so many people who are struggling through this time. So it's really just using time productively, being aware of what's happening and trying mm. to reach out. And speaking oh. of reaching out, P, that's something that, um, you've been busy with also. So can you tell us a bit more about how you decided to do your fundraising and yeah, how people so, can So it happened during the first week of quarantine. And then, nandun, nandun, kasi I, I'm with my cousin. Kami dalawa lang nandito sa bahay. And um, so we we were thinking, like, what can we do kaya? Kasi we just felt kind of useless, you know? We were just watching the news every day. And then we felt like, Anong ginagawa natin? Parang wala naman tayong contribution sa na nangyayari sa mundo. So, I, so nag-isip kami, but like, what can we do? So, then I decided to just ask some of my close friends first on Instagram. Nag-crowdsourcing muna for uh, suppliers because I wanted to donate. But when I was able to find a, a supplier and I found out that if you buy a lot, it's actually cheaper. And then that, um, so I bought a few muna. And then when I got it, and nakita ko na reputable yung supplier and then the next day i was able to find a way wala akong quarantine pass ha? so nasa bahay lang ako pero nakagawa ko ng paraan to get someone to deliver the donate the masks anyway and then we gave them acknowledgement receipts and i asked for pictures para sure ako may napunta talaga dun sa hospital and then my contact person din kami sa hospital para may kumukuha ng donations anyway when i figured out the logistics of buying and then distributing them. Sabi ko, okay, confident na ako, I can take in donations now. Because I wanted to make sure mo na, kasi mamaya, pagkatiwalaan ako ng mga tao na sa pera nila, tapos biglang, hindi pala ako sure. Or may mga, yeah. may mga butas yung ano ko, yung, um, yung ano, basta yon yung ano ko. <laughs> so yun. You're very <laughs> <very humble. laughs> That's the man. Na, na, oh, yung <laughs> ano yan. Yung uh, pagdating <laughs> ng supplies to yeah, what it's yeah. supposed to be. Yeah. So when um, we, we did that, sabi ko, oh, sige, I don't want to, I want to keep it realistic. You know, this is my first fundraising. I'm not expecting a big amount. And also, um, I, parang hindi ko, hindi ako confident to take in a big, big amount. Kasi parang feeling ko wala rin masyado magdo-donate. But luckily, Thank God, after weeks, weeks, weeks of just trying to convince everyone to, you know, donate and then uh, consistently also sending them updates to see na, oh, hindi kami nagdadaya, totoong namimigay kami ha. What I did was um, 
we raised more than our target. So, ang target namin noong una, 600K. Um, tapos, ano yun, mga 25,000 masks. Nangyari, naging 40, 1 million. Umabot kami sa 1 million. Tapos, 44,000 masks yung nabili namin. So, super saya ko kasi hindi ko inexpect na maraming tutulong. Pero, um, may mga tumulong naman. And we were able... Is Marion's frozen, no? Like, <laughs> yeah, okay. so, yeah. Okay. Technical difficulty on her end, so we're gonna let her um reconnect. But go, okay. keep, yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, ayun, because it, it because it was so successful. Um, and naging we reached our target. We, nakalampas pa kami don. Sabi ko, okay. Um, let's close it na. Kasi syempre, after two months, nagpabago na rin yung kailangan ng mga tao. Hindi na nila yeah. kailangan ng mask. I mean, okay, we still need masks, but there are other priorities now. So I moved on from masks. Um, from the fundraising that I did, nung mga face masks, um, WWF Philippines reached out to me and said, could you promote our fundraising? Sabi ko, okay, yeah, I'll do it. Like, send them over. And then they sent the pictures, the details, kanyan. Tapos yun yung bago kong pinupush ngayon na fundraising. Yung mga existing fundraising ng WWF. And of course, like, little things, guys. Kasi kahit naman, okay, iniisip, siguro yung mga nanonood nito, isipin nila, Carla, na, eh, wala naman ka kung pang donate, so how can I help? And yeah. I always say this, hindi naman kailangan ng monetary na donation. I-share nyo lang yung mga link, i-share nyo lang yung mga pub mat, yung mga, yung mga link, yung mga graphics, share nyo lang, kasi baka may makakita na magdo-donate, malaking tulong yes. na. Back. Oh, you're back! Hi, okay. Back. <laughs> so, yun. So we're still Sorry, talking yes. about the fundraiser. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're done. Ball. We're done with that. So yeah, um, but <laughs> what you said okay. is right. There are so many different ways to help out, um, and it doesn't have to be, uh, yeah, like it doesn't have to be like a big time raise so many funds and get because sometimes you just don't have the capacity to do that. So yeah, there are a lot of fundraisers out there. Um, parang yung ginagawa ni Pia, and there are so many other causes out there as well. So, kung meron lang kayong maitutulong, it's always good to just be knowledgeable about these causes that you can donate to. You can always help from home. Or kahit na nga, ako, nakatira ako sa condo, you know, like helping out, like getting food for the people that are managing the building, our guards, yeah. things like that. It's mm -hmm. a good time to just think of others also. Um, I also understand because with social media, you see so many people doing these donation drives and these fundraisings. And medyo one, overwhelming. And two, nakakapagod kasi which one do you help? Parang ang dami nila. And depos parang siguro may natulungan ka na. And there's still a hundred others. You can't help all of them. Um, I want people to know that huwag kayo masyadong ma mag-focus doon sa kailangan malaking-malaking impact yung magawa ng tulong ko. Like, start small and start at home. Start within your family. Start within your building. Like what Carla said, yung sa inyo muna, yung security nyo sa baba, kung nasa condo kayo. Or yung dumadaan na frontliner sa harap ng bahay nyo, kung mayroon kayo, o baka kapit-bahay nyo, frontliner, di ba? Like, hindi mo naman kailangan lumayo. So, yun lang. <laughs> That's true. Definitely, definitely. You know, small acts of kindness, uh, it ripples, you know. Uh, yeah. Netflix, you know, pay it forward. <laughs> it's in my my list. <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of just like that, you know, just doing your small part and hoping others will do their own part. And then, it's, you know, even if you've only, quote unquote, helped one or two people, yeah. the ripple effect of that is mm. way larger than you can fandom, fathom and uh it's amazing again silver linings of these kinds of situations is people really we see the humanity in people you know the goodness in people um we see the dark side we know uh we're not gonna lie a lot of terrible things also have been happening um during this lockdown in the u.s right now we are we all know what's happening with the protests um that have rooters into it but anyways um it's just trying to put the good out there in the world right? um mm -hmm. so yeah good job good job Pia. congratulations what you thanks, did was guys. amazing thanks guys 
before we move on to uh, talking about how the whole COVID crisis has really affected pageants here in the Philippines, there are three ongoing pageants. Um, so that's Miss Earth, of course, Miss Universe Philippines, and Binibining Filipinas. I just want to answer like one of the questions because a lot of people have been asking in live comments. What makes us busy? Ano yung routine natin? We talked about it earlier. Um, so what is our day like? Um, ngayon na naka lockdown pa rin tayo. What's okay. our day like? Oh, go yeah. ahead. Go ahead, Mar. Okay, sa akin yung pinaka basic cuz if you guys are just tuning in now, I do have puppies, lots and lots and lots of puppies in the house. So I wake up, I clean up, I do the dishes, I um I feed them, you know. Basically, I am just kind of concentrated inside the house because I realized ko, to na ko yung pinaka because it's a space that I can control. Um, less anxious ako. I'm just concentrated on the things that I have to do in the house. Um, and then slowly but surely, venturing out and trying to plan out um, what I have to do now that we're back in, you know. Uh, GCQ, and then we have to really just uh, figure out a way to keep our lives going. Because yeah. matagal pa to eh. the, the vaccine is, mm. you know, a long way off. Pa. And just because the lockdown isn't as rigorous as it was before, doesn't mean that the virus is less potent. You know, it's yeah. still out there. That's guys. true. Um, That's true. We are all still in danger. You know, and mm -hmm. as we move, but I am. Understand, and I realize that there is a necessity for us to figure out how to, you know, move on with our lives, lives but in a yeah. safe manner. So, yeah, you know, that's where I started. Just my everyday is just focusing on what's in the house, and then little by little thinking about, you know, what am I going to do um, outside. Yeah, yeah. What about you, P? Um. So, I. I parang meron din ako routine. Meron din ako routine where in the morning um I'll try to get all of the work done muna. Um lahat ng mga kailangan kong sagutin na email or kung may ganito or kung may live or may interview, I'll do that first. So anything related to work or even if I have to take a picture for kunyari Downey ganyan. I'll do everything during the day. Pagka na set aside ko na lahat 'yon, I'll work out and then the rest of the day is me time. That's what I call it. So first half of the day is work time, and then the second half is me time. So parang I earn my me time. Inuuna ko muna yung mga things that I have to do, and then when I'm done, I do the things I want to do. So parang merong balance siya. Kasi what I realize, pero meron ako mga araw na ano ah, na talagang nagpapahinga ako buong araw. Pero kasi it's so easy to like, to sink into that hole and just not move, be lazy, di ka na mag-workout, kain ka na lang ng lahat. Diba? Parang, hindi pwede eh. Kahit na ang sarap, hindi pwede. Kailangan, you gotta move. Once in a while, for sure. Go ahead, do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, once in a while. But then if you, but it's so easy kasi to, because it's so good, it's sarap. Keep going eh. Keep going. Yeah. yeah, it's not yeah. it's not yeah. only like a day. Oh, it's only just two days. It's like a week, then three days. Oh, oh one week, na pa na. Wala na. One week, na pa. Oh, oh. Wala kang ginagawa. And you know what, guys? I've also found it really helpful. And this may sound kind of weird, pero get ready anyway, even if you're not going out. Pero hindi naman yung makeup, full makeup, ah, yung shower, put on a fresh, yes. fre put some fresh clothes. Fix your hair. Uh, yung, ayusin mo lang yung sarili mo because it makes you feel good. Diba? Yeah. And it just yeah. brightens. It, it just puts you in a better mood. Ako, so, I live in my gym clothes now. <laughs> para lagi kang workout ready. <laughs> Oo. Hindi kasi yung ano ko, yung daily routine ko, pag gising ko, diretsong workout na before your body even knows what's happening. Ano workout ko na. Yeah, mag-yoga ako tapos yung workout ni Coach Jim Basi. Tapos, afternoon, diretso na akong lunch with my family, then stream, my gaming stream. Tapos, afternoon, ano na, puro family time, nood ng K-drama, ganyan. Um, that's one of the things I've really been enjoying. Kasi, 
I've been wanting to spend more time with my family, pero nang maraming work, alam mo yun, yung parang, ah, tomorrow mm. na lang kami magde-dinner, ganyan. So now talagang quality time. I can't, yeah. I'm, hindi talaga ako lumalabas ng bahay because my parents are both seniors na nga. So dahil high risk sila, um, I'm just staying put. I don't have work na rin naman, so, you know, stay at home na lang. Diba? Yeah, yeah. Iba-iba talaga, no? Pero, I mean, somehow, magkakaiba tayo ng routine, pero pare-pareho lang tayo na we try to have a routine. Pare-pareho tayo na we yeah. try to stick to one, at least, right? Yeah. It's important. Yeah. It's important. It's important. And How to do? So, we got a question here. Yeah, I was gonna say that we have a question here. Good. <laughs> Any beauty regimens during quarantine that you can share to maintain the queenly aura? Oh wow! Meron oh. ba? Akala ko wala na. Thanks guys. Meron ba? One new thing I've been doing. Na basa ko sa Korean whatever. Kasi di ba ang ganda ng balat nila parang wala silang pores. Um, they put their skincare ng hindi pa masadong tuyo yung mukha nila. So, medyo damp pa siya. And then, dun ko ipapatong yung sunscreen ko. Oh, you know what? This makes sense. Because I read this somewhere in a blog where, ganito daw kasi, guys, yung skin daw natin, parang soil daw yan. So, imagine if you're trying to garden, right? Hindi siya mag absorb pag masyadong packed and tight yung soil. But when it's kind of a bit wet and loose, then then it comes in it goes in easy it absorbs easier so parang ganun din daw yung balat natin pinaprep daw yan bago yeah. mag skincare lately ko lang din nalaman yun na ah. <laughs> i like it I, nakikita ko naman yung effect and nagsa sunscreen ako i feel like sunscreen is the most important skincare product kahit na lang dito lang sa bahay nagsa sunscreen pa rin ako yeah. yeah i should follow that i don't look something <laughs> like at all I'm so bad at... Me too. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, huh? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Hindi ako... Uh, I can't do the whole night routine. Tamad ako, guys. I said, tamad ako. Legit. <laughs> I don't have the... But I'll do it, like, once a week. <laughs> but then after that, wala na. So, it's, for me, it's really just about, I guess, keeping your skin clean, drinking lots of water. And now, um, we're gonna... Sh- I'm gonna share a little bit of a tidbit or a, a tip this quarantine season, uh, this actually COVID-19 uh, season, importante pala guys, ang vitamin C thing. So I've been drinking, me and my fiance have been drinking this. It was his idea, his friends told us about it. Um, so, and this helps keep the skin um, healthy as well. I have skin yeah. asthma, I have a lot of um, skin conditions and even my fiance, and after taking this, we do realize that um, we do have healthier skin. So, mm-hmm. important to take on vitamins. Um, with vitamin D3, you actually can get this naturally if you expose yourself to the sun. But again, there's quarantine period. A lot of yeah. us don't get to, you know, be out in the sun a lot. So, I do recommend vitamins. Interesting. As someone who also has eczema, I will try that out. So if anyone watching the stream, you know, has skin problems like us, there, that's a tip that you can yeah. do. Yeah. We feel ya. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to how this crisis has affected pageantry. Um, so we mentioned earlier, there are pageants that were ongoing and naputo, like in the middle of all the events because of the um, quarantine. So the first one is Binibining Pilipinas that just decided to indefinitely postpone. What do you guys think about that move? Uh, dapat lang magpostpone talaga. Tama lang naman din na postpone pero hindi naman cancel, di ba? So no need to panic for the girls. Yeah. Um, what's sa tingin ko the 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 question is paano pagka nag-start na? It's not so much of when, kasi alam naman natin that matutuloy yan eh sa Pilipinas pa, hindi pwedeng walang pageant. Matutuloy yan. Pero, kailan at paano? Diba? That's usually the question. Now, I've seen some people suggest that we do an online pageant, like I heard Miss Earth Philippines. I think they're gonna try to do something like that. I could be wrong. but They are um, doing it, yeah. Oh, they are doing it? Yes. Okay. So, 
tingin ko parang well I don't know what do you think like would it would that work on my um, pattern we'll see but, um, <laughs> it's so new yeah. so it is yeah. so new but yeah no, the, it's something that I've been thinking about before pa before this happened online pattern para maging accessible sa more people and you know YouTube has been a growing force uh, yeah. in the last few years so yeah news of course how 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 can you is it possible to create a purely online project whoa whoa oh guys I, I can share oh go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead sorry go ahead no <laughs> okay ako na pipile yeah go <laughs> share ko lang share ko lang guys kasi ano um I parang may nakuha kong mga syempre uh, chika chika here and there ganon. I think um possible na pwedeng mangyari is they'll keep all the girls in a hotel. So imagine this. In a hotel, magkakahiwalay sila so napapractice pa rin yung social distancing. So naka in-house sila sa hotel and then they'll do the activity the live, the program sa isang hall or ballroom. Tapos, ano siya, parang closed set siya where literally the only essential people in the set are needed. Like, the camera guy, one producer. So, alam mo yung parang the essential people lang, no audience. And yeah. then, the girls get ready in their rooms. So, di ba sa pageant naman, we get ready on our own. So, hindi mo naman kailangan ng glam team. So, um, they get ready on their own. They come down to do the, kunyari, swimsuit. Tapos, naka-stream siya, naka-live siya. And then they do the same for the gown. And then I guess for the quest Q and A, you can space them apart and then ask the questions. Oh. There, I you know, I imagine kompina ka possible na pwede mangyari is to keep everyone in a hotel. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. Well, it's happened. I, when I joined Miss World, um, ng twenty twelve, Miss World Philippines, we were housed the whole month. So it's definitely possible for a pageant to do that. Um, we'll see how that works out. I don't know if Bini Bini will consider that. Pero for now, canceled. Oh, no, not canceled. Postponed indefinitely. But other pageants are trying different ways. Like Miss Earth nga is actually ongoing. Kakatapos palang ng ano nala. Their talent portion is completely online. So the girls just upload. They're by batch yung ginagawa nila. Eh. So they have different challenges that they post on their social media. So the girls, you know, the, bahala na sila maging creative sa bahay nila, how they'll present themselves. Tapos yung judging, ano, purely online. So it's very interesting to see how that will work out and how it will progress for the rest of the pageant. Yeah. Right. yeah. There's definitely a lot of new content from Bidimini Filipinas. I was telling Carla before we went on. Nagugulat ako sa Facebook nila kasi they have... Uh, they have a lot of online content that they never had during our time. Piece. Um, one of the things they did was the you know, pass the brush challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Santa Cruz. Had. So that was what they said. But I know usually Santa Cruz and it's a big bini bini, you know, um, event, you know, part of the culture of pageantry. And because of the uh, lockdowns, of course. But the cancel in Yuma Santa Cruz and Pero Bini Bini. I'm I'm surprised and I'm glad that they went there. They 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 did this full makeup pass the brush challenge and it was really nice. And it was good that the girls were able to showcase. Um I'm sure the gowns that the designers were so eager to to, to show the world through the through the events, the Bini Bini events. So Amanda, uh kudos to Bini Bini uh, on what they're doing now. Uh, Miss Universe Philippines Saman. I think sila mas I think they're more adept to, to the change because it's a yeah. young group and they've been trying to be more about um, the online presence. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think with them, they've been doing the girls have been doing uh, their own thing also, right? Yeah, yeah they have they have like an online event every month. So they're also doing it virtually, but. Iba yung approach nila. And I actually really like, I went through their social media account. And they're really, it's like a challenge to the girls. Kasi ngayon, ibang iba na yung situation eh. You know, it's not all about glam. Obviously, now it's it's very much about what you stand for, how you're helping out. So I saw that they were pushing um, several things nga. 
um, about the girls sa uh, page yeah. ng Miss Universe Philippines. So gusto nila yung girls role mo- role models to provide guidance to fight the challenges brought about mm-hmm. brought about by the pandemic. Tapos gusto yeah. rin nila na source rin yung girls ng inspiration para maging pag makita sila other people will also be inspired to be their best version during the quarantine yeah. because that is very important and then also to create initiatives um, to be able to help out also and speaking of these initiatives sa lahat ng pageant na to yung mga girls we see them reaching out and ang gaganda rin ng mga projects ng iba yeah definitely ang ganda kasi ganda um, go ahead go ahead Sabi ko rin, sabi tayo nagsasabay. Go. Tapos <laughs> parehas pa yung sabi natin. Okay. <laughs> yes, um, ang gaganda nga ng mga projects ng mga girls. And I just want to mention something I said earlier as well na um, iba na ngayon. Iba na yung ta- even the, the, the COVID pandemic um, really shifted the pageant world towards being more focused on doing good and doing yeah. projects and the girls really um, working outside of the comfort of the traditional pageant uh, structure. You know, mm-hmm. we we were very into the structure. Now that I think about it, we were very spoon-fed. Sobrang sumo rin natin. Grabe. Sobrang klase. Na-realize. Actually, you know what? I was listening to our podcast. Guys, by the way, you can li- you can download and listen to episode one and two at 6 p.m., i-upload na namin yan. Mapapakinggan nyo. Sa episode 1, we introduce ourselves and we talk about this ng sandali. And then, um, wait, what were we talking about again? What, what was the last thing you said? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> about the girls. Um, about how the girls, at work, we were very much spoon-fed and we were very much into the system. Oh, yeah. Mo, oh, sobrang masunod talaga oh, natin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I remember you said something sa first episode natin na sobrang sumunod ka nga that you wish, ngayon, now that you think about it, you wish na yeah. sana mas binoise out mo yung gusto mo, ganyan. But, um, totoo talaga, sobrang, we really followed everything by the book. We really did. Yes. And it's like double-edged sword, I guess, positive, negative. The mm. positive is less stress. We don't have to think about so many things during the, the pageant, during during the competition. But there are things that we wanted Santa to do that we couldn't do. Now, mm. everything is up to the girls, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, the yeah, year that yeah. we joined, we couldn't wear what we wanted. Imagine, no? Na-imagine yung kaba natin. No? Ganito kasi, guys. Ganito kasi pagka binibigyan na kami ng gown, hindi kami magkakasama. So, they'll call us one by one or by two or by three. So, they'll go, oh, Carla and ano, Carla and Marian, akyat. Pag akyat mo doon, you'll wait for madam to call you in your room and then she'll show you what your gown looks like. So, you don't know until you're inside that room. Ganun yung expense namin. And syempre, parang, Kung hindi ka feeling mo, kung, fav, kung favorite ka, maganda ibibigay sa'yo. Kung hindi maganda, isipin mo, ay, ayoko, ma, hindi ako favorite, kanya. Ang hirap nun, no? Like you didn't have a voice, like you couldn't choose. It's really a good Did we talk stuff. about the white gown in our oh. own episode? Yes, we did, we did. So, the myth listen of the white gown. <laughs> yeah, listen to <laughs> the yes. If you want to know more it's about, fair. you know, what the myth the experience was like for us. I mean, it's changed a lot, pero... Marami rin kaming mga memorable at masasayang kwento about our time um, when we were competing. But I agree with you guys. That's one of the big steps forward ng pageantry. Yung control ng girl over, you know, ng time kasi natin, pagpasok mo parang kailangan mo sumunod kasi takot kayo matatalo ka kung ano eh. You know, like, oh, may control para kang nakamask. You can't really voice out so much. You you need to follow this pattern to be able to win. So I like it that they have a lot more freedom now to do what what they want and talk about what they stand for. And that's something that they've been doing during the quarantine. One of the um, advocacies that really stood out to me was Eliza Malinaus. Um, outreach, what she's been doing, because she comes from a family yeah. of farmers. 
So yeah. what she's been doing is tinutulungan niya yung mga farmers that have a hard time during the whole pandemic. Tapos kinoconnect niya to people who are looking to buy um, the vegetables and the fruits. And talagang she's really active. Like she does the deliveries. Nagkakaroon sila ng mga pop-up stores. And I saw nga on one of her posts na if you want to buy, you know, just let her know. Hahanapan niya ng paraan. And she also has an Instagram account where she talks about her story coming from a family of farmers. And she aims to tell the stories para talagang makita yung mga farmers here in the Philippines in a really positive light. So marami tayong nakikita ng mga ganyan. Um, you know, not just from Eliza, a lot of the other girls from all the pageants. It's yeah. so nice to see how they've been reaching out in their own ways. And you know what? I really love when they try to hindi forced yung advocacy nila. Hindi parang it came out of the blue. Parang kunyari yung kay Eliza, may connect sa kanya. Alam mo yun? Yeah. Or kunyari yung kay Gazini, yung dahil she was raised by her lola, kaya yun yung advocacy niya, elderly care. So may connect, hindi yung parang, ano lang, um, women empowerment. Tapos pag tinanong ka, bakit yun? Um, wala kang masagot, di ba? Parang dapat kasi it has to be authentic also. So, yeah. But then we've been seeing that with the girls, especially now with the new batch of girls that are competing. So very good. Keep it up, girl. That is super proud. Not how proud. <laughs> Sorry, my and uh, a comment caught my eye. Kellen, sabi ni Christian, Kellen ako sa sali sa pageants. <laughs> Matagal na ako sa masali. Siya po yung nauna sa amin lahat. Ako yung nauna. The first, the first queen. Ay, dito pala. The first queen. 2010 pa lang. Lumalaban na ako. <laughs> yeah, so I joined. I joined Motia 2010, Miss World Philippines 2012, and Binibining 2014. Grabe. Pero, ano ah, bata lang ako sumali. I just wanna clarify. <laughs> Kasi baka isipin nila, 40 ka na ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> Pag sinasabi ko, ako si Miss Intercontinental Philippines 2010, parang tugol na nun ah. <laughs> <laughs> bata mong tingnan ah. You never age. Ayun, may nagtanong na. Carla, how old are you now? I'm 30. Oh, how old are you now? Yeah. I'm 30. We're all 30. Yes. Lahat kami. 30-30. Yeah. So, I just... Sorry. Okay, babalik na ako sa topic natin about the girls having their own advocacies. So, kung pageant lover kayo, and you're looking for those causes that you wanna, if you wanna help from home, punta lang kayo sa Instagram account ng favorite girls nyo because, you know, yeah. they're doing a lot. So, yeah. you know, that's one small way to help out from a pageant perspective also. Yeah. One more I thing that I wanna have, like... girls on the show, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We wanna yeah. have these girls on the show. It's just, we wanna talk to you guys. Like, I'm sorry? You're saying... Well, who do you... Let's ask the audience, ask the audience, who, sinong gusto yeah. niyo yung una naming i-guest? Right? And then we'll reach oh, yeah. out. Right? Why don't you guys okay. suggest? Artist participation. Comment. Gagawa namin yan ang paraan. Yeah. But meanwhile, while we're waiting for their answers, ilagay niyo na yan okay. sa comment section. I think we can do our Q&A yeah, now. So the first question is, Pia, how old are you? <laughs> oh, Kai, I'm, I'm 30. I think we're all 30, no? We're all, we are, yeah, we're all 30. We're all 30. That coming title. 30. 30. Anong title ko? I was Mutya ng Pilipinas Intercontinental 2010. Yeah. <laughs> I like this question. <laughs> ano yun? Pia, gusto mo yung ba mag-try mag-forside reporter? Kaya mo ba? Parang hindi ko kaya, guys. Bawa. Kaya mo yan. Hindi yung couple kung courtside reporter ako ganito. Um, okay, so pinasa na po yung bola. Tapos parang ano po? <laughs> Ganun-ganun na ako magsulita. Parang may bola. Ganun na ako ng lingon. Lingon Tapos, na ako ng lingon doon sa mga ay, player. Ay, na-shoot. Ay, ay, na-shoot. Ay, hindi na-shoot. Hindi po na-shoot. <laughs> I was kaya. Ano ba ang score? 
<laughs> wow, we have a lot of suggestions, guys. By the way, and dami yeah. nang pumapasok ng mga suggestions. Ah, Nicole Cordovez. Ooh, game for that. Eliza, super Eliza. game for her. Vicky Rushton. Yes. Yeah, I wanna. Oh, I wanna... Yeah, speaking of Vicky, she also has a really great advocacy that is very close to her heart. She's actually helping an orga organization, helping kids with Down syndrome. Because, of course, kids with Down syndrome, a lot of them also have other existing conditions. Na, alam naman natin na if someone is not well, kailangan ng maraming, um, you know, they need a lot of treatment. So, yung fundraising ni Vicky Rushton during the lockdown. Of course, a lot of people also need help when it comes to food, mas lalo na sa medicine. Kasi, yun talaga yung gastros eh. So, yeah. again, if you I love always, Vicky, and I, if you want to help her out. Yeah, I, I love Vicky. I always liked her, although parang hindi ko pa siya na super nakakahang out talaga. Pero, I love her look, look, I love her beauty, I love her body. If I was a guy, siya yung liligawan ko. <laughs> Totoo. Shot pa si Sandra Lemonon sa MUPH naman. Siya yung liligawan ko doon. So, meron akong, guys, meron akong parang girlfriend material na, ah, siguro kung guy ako, ito yung liligawan ko. So, Sino yung sa ano? Sino yung sa Miss Universe? Sino si Sandra Lemonon. Ah, oo. Oh, oh. Pag sasabayin ko sila, joke lang. Joke lang, joke lang. <laughs> joke lang, joke lang, joke lang. Kaya po. <laughs> so, we're getting a lot of Eliza. Maria mm, yeah. Galeria, who is a nurse. So, April Smith. April Smith, I think, is ano, someone I want to talk to also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pat Magtanong. Uh, Pat Mag Magtanong. Karen Ibasco. Karen... Yeah, oh, Karen is super cool, guys. I got to hang out with her and talk to her nung SEA Games yung nag-muse kami. So, oh, yeah. um, it was so fun because then imagine like you get to meet the reigning, uh, the, the queens of like other titles. It's so interesting. So anyway, nung dumating ako doon, nakita ko siya and she was like busy reading, ganyan. So tumabi talaga ako sa kanya, parang guluhin ko siya. So tumabi ako sa kanya, tapos sabi ko, Hi Karen, ganyan tas chinika chika chika ko na siya ng 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 talagang kinausap ko siya ng kinausap hanggang kasi sobrang na I feel like she's I know she's really smart but I wanted to like to get to know her and talk to her kasi naging sobrang interested ako sa kanya dahil ang galing-galing niya sumagot sa mga Q&A niya. Yeah. And um she's so warm, super nice. So I think I think she'll say yes if we ask her because she's super nice. Woo! We're gonna no. list down. We have to write all of down. answers. Oh, Carlos yeah. asking if I competed in 2010 and where. I was supposed to compete in the Dominican Republic, but lots of things were happening. Mostly, hindi ko alam kung ano nangyayari. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't know what was happening. Um, so I was still studying in Ateneo, naglalaruaw ng UAP. Tapos, nag-fill out na ako ng form. And then the organization decided to parang oh and that was also the year my that was also like the month my grandfather passed away so a lot of things oh. were happening with me and then i thought i was gonna go but then parang the organization decided to send someone else so oh. so mali kasi ako oh, okay. alone uh, alone like with my mom parang i didn't Walang have pam. Wala akong kam. So, wala akong alam. Parang sumali lang ako. Try lang. Ganun. So, I wish I was more knowledgeable about what was happening. But parang, parang I was just so lost. I was just so lost. They eventually sent, um, si Christy McCary. So, that's why she competed twice. Because her mm. title was Asia Pacific. And then, nanalo siya ulit ng Intercontinental because it was with Binibini na. Yeah. 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 That was weird. I remember that because yun yung year na oh, kami. and I remember they wanted Rogeli and Christy to switch crowns. The lawyers wanted them to switch crowns. Tapos pero sila ayon nila silang dalawa. Kasi yun yung nabigay na sa kanila si Christy kahit papano uh, ayon rin niya kasi binigay na sa kanya yun eh. Actually si Christy muntik na nga siyang mag quit at inisip niya kung sa sali na lang siya ulit next year. Yeah, to try for universe, but um, so but uh, hindi na niya tinuloy. Pero 
yeah that was a that was weird no i Parang, think that's kind of what happened with us because i remember she reached out to me also asking about it na sa kanya nga siya yung pinapapunta and then when i saw the website her picture was already there so ako parang given na i didn't know parang i didn't know better they were giving me another pageant trend that oh. was also for another girl so i was like i don't know what's happening yeah. um medyo um so yeah i mean I reach out to christy definitely when they offered the pageant to her mm. so she was transparent about what was happening hindi yung yeah. biglaan and i didn't know any better a lot of things were happening so that's yeah. why i let it go and then i decided to keep joining and trying to get that chance pero hindi nangyari but that's okay because it's an experience that really mattered for me can i ask you something like out of curiosity kasi kami ni Marian binibini lang ang experience namin but i know we talked about it during uh, episode 1 and 2 of our podcast which will be live in an hour or <laughs> by the way guys so ano yung yung talagang kita mo ang, i guess top 3 differences from a candidate's point of view of joining Binibini Filipinas and Miss World Philippines? Uh, Binibini versus Miss World lang. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, Binibini, there was more freedom for me because ng Miss World Philippines, we were housed in the Manila Hotel. So, talagang whenever they need you, kahit free ng umaga, kakatokin ka nila. <laughs> Um, at least sa binibini kahit maaga yung call time, you know, you have some sense of control about your day. Yeah. Galing ka naman sa bahay mo. Mm -hmm. And then, binibini was more traditional dahil nga, nang time natin, you know, we still had the, um, them directing what we had to wear, yung shoes na susuotin natin. Sa Miss World, it was a bit more modern in a sense na kay bahala. Like, you know, oh. they provided the swimsuits, but madami siya talaga. Um, hindi yung ito talaga kaya nang pili. Para may may choices. Ano yung, <laughs> you know? what's longer? Um, ma ikli lang si Miss World. It was around three weeks. Three weeks. But okay. one thing that I didn't like during my year, I have to call it out. Wala kami closed door interview. Ah, oh, so, okay. Hindi parang from the Terno competition, tas top five na. Like, walang Q&A. Anong year to? Uh, 2014. Sa, hindi yun sa world? Ah, 2012, yeah. sorry. World. Ah, 2012. Yeah. 2012. So, Medyo so, recent pa rin. Oo. Oh. Um, parang sa Binibini, and it was just that specific year, ha? Huh? I just wanna oh, clarify. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Parang sa Binibini, I had more freedom to like express who I was. Hmm. Intro pa lang. Alam nyo naman, mayabang ako. Intro. <laughs> Confident ako sa speaking skills ko. <laughs> Uy, kayong dalawa, pareho kayo ha. Nalamon sa Q&A yung dalawang yan. Ay, ay gusto ko yung question here. Hmm. Ano? Is it important ba kapag sumasali kayo sa beauty pageant na maganda yung bio nyo or yung mga captions nyo sa social media? May big impact ba ito? Okay, Car uh, Mar, ikaw muna. Mar naman. Okay, not during our time. I don't think 2014 uh, and social media was not as big as it was right now in terms of pageant. But I think in the context of now, it is very, very important yeah. Kasi ang online branding, presence, online personality, lahat yan kasama na eh. Especially yeah. now that, you know, with the whole pandemic thing, I'm sure lumalaki na rin yung um, importance of yung online image. Yeah, yeah. but I I agree. Like, I, I agree with, with Marian. Iba na kasi ngayon, and that, there are a lot of eyes, maraming nakatutok, but I also want the girls, if they watch this, to remember na hindi judge yung social media. Parang it is a big impact. You get you get fans, you get support, but it won't necessarily make you win. Being the most popular candidate will not make you win. So, well, that's a criteria. The final yeah. night, well, usually, well, well, social media. I don't know now. Oh, I don't well, know during our time, 
pagpasok ko lang namin dun sa holding area namin, wala, kukunin na yung phone namin eh. Yeah. Wala na yung social media aspect at all. It was, con- you know, we had a photographer during our events, pero from our end, wala talaga. Um, wait, um, so, ngayon ba pwede na sila mag-phone? Yeah, kasi parang meron na, I mean, mas active na sila eh. Like, we see more from their end. This is so weird. Kasi up until like recently, like 2015, from the last time I remember, bawal ang phone sa Binibini. So guys, in order for us to get that number, yung bilog na may number na yun, kailangan namin i-confiscate yung phone namin. Kapalit yun yung number. Hindi kami bibigyan ng number kung hindi kami bibigyan yung phone. Kaya wala kay kaya umaasa rin kami sa mga fans that take pictures of us outside. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, uh, iba na rin ngayon. Okay, uh, magkano ang nagagastos nyo when joining a pageant? Ooh. Magastos siya. Magastos. Ako, magastos, uh-uh. mm-hmm. ako tipid kasi ano eh, murang may kami. <laughs> Tipid si Carla kasi experienced na siya, veterano na siya, kompleto na siya yes. ng gamit. Tsaka I siguro, mean, yes. ko ng mga, alam mo sa Miss World Philippines, alam ko din ng mga special award nila, may cash prize ha. Huh? Yeah, wala akong napanalo ng special award. <laughs> oh, mayamang ka lang pala talaga. <laughs> hindi, parang ano ba, hindi... Parang bumibili ako ng mga, yung mga damit ko, lahat galing people are people. Tapos, yung mga makeup ko, kasi hindi naman kailangan mahal eh. I mean, you know, it depends on your budget. Makakahanap ka ng magandang quality, you know, even if your budget isn't so big. So, it's really up to you. Really ano, up ba to yung, you. What's the, ano ba yung biggest gastos for a candidate? Damit, uh, makeup. Video. Hair, makeup, personal makeup. Hair. Marami hair na lang po. Oh, yeah, mahalang hair extensions. Uh, and then, I think ngayon, it's easier kasi a lot of the designers are willing uh, to help the girls. So, mm-hmm. feeling ko mas, uh, mas konti na yung gasta sa mga girls with the net. But, I'm sure meron pa rin. I'm sure meron pa rin. Okay. Kaya, well, ako ngipin po. Ako din, no, ngipin ko. Pareho yeah. kami ng dentist. Huh? Oh. <laughs> ako din ah, nagbayad din ako noon kasi syempre, hindi naman libre pa nung mga time na yon. Kasi I got my the veneer idea from Maria. Noong nakita ko yung ngipin niya, sabi ko, wala pa veneer sa rin kaya ako. Gaya-gaya yun. No? Pero, <laughs> pero it's expensive. It's expensive if you don't have anyone helping you out. Yeah. Yeah. Grabe. I'm so blessed. My family pulled together the fund to pay for this. So, grabe. Blessed. Uh, <laughs> Pero, hindi <sighs> naman na. Like, I'm not saying that if you're gonna join a pageant, uh, you have to make sure that you have lots of money. Ano mo na yan eh? Sasarte mo na yan eh. You know, yeah. if you, if maboka ka, and you really introduce yourself to people, and then, we try to collaborate with different people. I'm sure mm-hmm. you won't even have to spend a lot. Um, it's really about your discouragement. And um, the most important is your confidence. You know? It doesn't yeah. matter if you're wearing the most expensive dress. That's outfit, true. If you're not confident. Balance. That's, that's so, true. Yeah. Balance. Balance. Mm-hmm. You, we have, you have girls who have been using the same pair of shoes, only have one gown, are using drugstore makeup, but they end up winning. So it's really not about how expensive your look is. It's about your, like, like your go as a whole, like the way you present yourself. And if it's your really your time, you'll win, no matter how expensive or how, or how yeah. um, inexpensive your gear is or your... I don't know what you call it. Gear. <laughs> yeah, gear. Yung gear mo. Beauty armor. Beauty armor. Your glass. Wow, beauty armor. TM. What's the sweetest na binigay or ginawa ng fans nyo? I can't really answer this because I don't really have a lot of fans as a pageant candidate. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I had more bashing. <laughs> well, I hope, uh, 
Meron naman siguro, Carla. Meron, meron naman. Meron naman. You have, no, you have no, time. No, I remember. Uh, meron naman. Pero, I mean, you know, hindi naman ako, like, sa binibini ha, hindi naman ako like mega frontliner na inaabangan. Alam Frontliner, ano, frontrunner. Oh, sorry. <laughs> frontliner. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi talaga ako oh, frontliner. <laughs> um, ano ba yung mga sweet na mga gumagawa ng mga fans? I feel like, sa akin na, ano, nasisweet din ako pag, uh, oh, may fan ka. Umaabang, um, umaabang sila sa labas ng events. Alam mo yun yung pagka, after ng press presentation, or ganyan. Yung kahit makita ka lang nila sandali, happy na sila. Parang ako na-appreciate ko yung time na yon Kasi, biruin mo yung andun lang sila para malang makita ka lang. Parang sino ba naman ako, di ba? Parang ako na-appreciate ko yung presence. Yung pumunt- andun lang sila, okay na sa akin yun. Parang masaya din yun, di ba? I'm sorry, yeah, we will well speak in English. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, we have a question uh-huh. here. I'll just start reading other questions. Oh, uh, wow, these are some really interesting questions. Okay, let me go through it one by one because I don't want to skip through the really good ones. Um, Can I just say, guys, one hour na tayo, ah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, so we have time for maybe like two, two or three questions, but we're going to go live anyway. So we're, we have time to do this in our next episodes. So... Uh, 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 sige, pili tayo ng questions. Anong gusto niyo? Let's all pick one. Let's all pick okay. one. Sige, sige. So, I'll go first. Um, what's the most problem? Uh, sorry, you'll go first nga. No. Sige, sige yun na lang. Sagutan na natin yun. What's the most problematic scenario you've encountered during the pageant night? Ah, okay. Well, mm. ako... Just the fact na hindi nila kami pinayagan magdala ng makeup, papasok ng venue. Oh, so we had to hide all the brushes and all our makeup. Kasi you have to have your makeup done. Well, during our time, ah, parang they were very strict about, you know, having the specified makeup artists do your makeup, which is fine. But then, pageant night na to eh. And it's hard also na hindi nila, kung yari, hindi mo pa nakakatrabaho yung artist na yun, hindi nila gamay yung look mo. Oh. So, you need to be able to edit your look also. And that was totally not allowed. So, talagang, yeah. guys, lahat kami may tagong, makatagong brush at lahat. Oh. Where would you hide your brushes? In my clothes. <laughs> Ako din. Oo, <laughs> oh, yung mga pang eyeliner nandito. Kasi ano, um, guys, diba, kasi diba we, there was a salon na sponsor ng, ng Binibini noon. So, required kami magpa-makeup sa kanila. Okay lang naman. Magagaling din sila. Kaso, sanay kami sa face namin because we do our own faces every day during the activities. So, alam mo na what looks best on you. And anyway, when you win and you go on to compete internationally, you can't bring that makeup artist with you. You're on your own. So, hirap lang. Tama ka doon. Ang hirap nung ano, nung hindi tayo makapagdala na ng makeup. Imagine that. You're going into battle without your gear. Gear na naman eh. No? Your weapons. What about you, Mar? Oh, no. Pero you feel naked talaga. Um, hmm. The most problematic scenario you've encountered. Ano ba? Alam mo na din yun eh. Yung sa binibini when they didn't allow us to bring our makeup. Grabe. Yeah. And they did that last minute, diba? They're like, mm-hmm. um, by the way, iwan niyo yung mga guys, yung mga bags niyo dito. Uh, bawal kayo madala ng kahit ano. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. grabe. That was like, mm-hmm. the toughest. But, hmm. All our hard work. Oh, guys, question. You How do we not lose know? our phones? Oh, nasa kanila pala yung phone natin. Ah, yeah. Oh. I was like, how did we not lose our phone? Nasa kanila pala. Oh, nga. Sana and na. Then, Sorry, we only have time for one last question. So, okay. it's from Ira. Any advice sa mga young girls na gustong sumali sa beauty pageants? Uh, how young are we talking about? Okay. My advice, gain... Go to school, finish school, gain some more, you know, life experience, and then join. Don't join while you're too young, or don't join habang nag-aaral ka pa, or merong 
I, I really think na yung mga pageants, lalo na ngayon, kailangan medyo may konting maturity ka na eh at res- medyo responsible ka na. Mas madali. I mean, also, young girls can join, but I just feel like um, it's easier and better and if you're a bit older when you join. So, yeah. yun ang advice ko. Mag-enjoy muna kayo sa buhay. Experience life. You know, go to school. Finish school. You know, ex- experience having a job, working here and there. Experience life first so you can talk about life when you join. You know, yeah, I love that. Oh, I love that. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ikaw, Mar. I mean, Bianca. Um, yeah, I, I just have to say, I just have to agree uh, with Tia um, for to say gone are the days that youth was an advantage. It's not I'm very so bad at all. It's not like that anymore. It's experience. Um, another suggestion, another tip for young girls. Um, yes, uh, experience the world. Um, get to know who you are. You know, um, I think with pageantry, with pageants. Uh, one of the shifts I think I want us to make, of course, beauty in the forefront, but it's all about personality. So you have to, like, in connection with the PSS, to really be able to, you know, develop uh, who you are, your personality, what you stand for, what your opinions are. You have to have life experience, and it's so important uh, to do that. So if you're still unsure about why you're joining a pageant, because another is is you have to have a clear goal, a clear reason why you're joining, yes. uh, especially the major pageant, right? Yes. Being Filipinas, Miss Universe, certainly, uh, because it's taxing. It's not easy. It's hard. You're gonna want to go back to that reason. When things get tough, when you're crying yeah. because your bad you just said that, you know, your face looks like a thumb. <laughs> um, <laughs> like <my life>. <laughs> yeah. You need that. You need that. You need your reasons. You need your yeah. reasons. And one of the things that I thought was effective is one of your your reasons to be outside from yourself. So if you put it into a community or your family or certain issues. Um, if you can hinge your reason to joining the pageant in something meaningful like that, that can make the whole you know, whole the yeah. world of a difference. I agree. I mean, I wish someone told me that before I joined. Like I said, parang I didn't know what was happening. I don't know how this works. I didn't really know who I was. I was so lost. Like I was just there. So that's why I decided to join again and again. And even now, looking back, I kind of wish that maybe I joined one more time because you grow every year. You get to know yourself. And I completely agree. Na bago ka sumale, really know who you are, what you stand for, your best looks. <laughs> it comes with experience. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. All right. Yung best looks na yun. I was at some of the 2014 photos and I'm like, oh, I wore that. Oh, that was my makeup. (laughs) But yeah, that is all the time that we have for episode three of Quintuhan. Thank you so much to everyone who joined us. Sana nag-enjoy kayo. And if you weren't able to ask your questions or if we weren't able to answer it, don't worry because we have our future episodes. So please tune in. And you can ask away and we'll do our best to answer everything that you want to know from us about pageantry. So again, yeah. thank you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah. And a quick reminder, so, 6 p.m. Uh, live is- new episode one and two. You can download that. Um, anyway, we'll send out the links, all the details in our social media. Thank you so much. <laughs>